Okay, hi YouTubers, and welcome to my new uh, feature or my new channel. I don't know how I'm going to set this up, but um, I am going to start doing some reviews on some different Kickstarters and um, Indiegogo projects and things like that that I've purchased. Um, if anybody's ever been to my house, you would know that I am a huge Kickstarter buyer, so I buy tons of stuff <laughs> like from Kickstarter. I, I like doing crowdfunding. Um, I'm actually a, I'm like a Kickstarter super backer, which is something they started up and I was kind of ashamed that I got it because that means I buy a lot of stuff on Kickstarter and um, I don't know, I, I like doing crowdfunding. I think it's uh, it's cool to get some some new stuff that hasn't come out yet and kind of support some creative people. So um, let's kick things off. Uh, first of all, I just received the Magbin just today, uh, or Magbine, I don't know how they pronounce it, I think it's Magbin. Um, I think this was created by a company called It I Want, and I was a little bit shocked because um, they launched on Kickstarter first, and they had done a few other projects that um, basically people had complained enough to Kickstarter and canceled their projects and things like that, so much that Kickstarter removed them from Kickstarter and completely banned their account. Um, but I was on their mailing list because I had funded them for this originally. So they moved over to Indiegogo and they set up an account there. And um, I, I didn't realize kind of their history before I decided to, to back it. Um, and so I did this and with Indiegogo, you might know that you don't really get your funds back. So I went ahead and purchased just one of them. Um, and then once I realized kind of the uh, controversy behind it, I went back and was like, well, if I change my pledge, I'm going to be out of money. So I decided not to do that. Um, and I just purchased the single cable. Even though I wanted more of these because they looked really cool, I only got the one. So um, let's take a look and uh, see what we got inside the package. So truth be told, I actually opened this up inside my car um, because I had no idea what it was at first. Um, sometimes when I order these things, I kind of forget about buying them. Um, but yeah, it comes in just a cheap little cardboard thing uh, that's recyclable. So if you're environmentally conscious, you can recycle it. And yeah, so that's cool. You get um, a nice little felt and leather case. Um, nothing spectacular, but kind of it's handmade, so that's cool. I can maybe even use this for something else if I want to. And this is the Magbin itself. So um, yeah, it is exactly what looks how I thought it would be. Um, let's take a look and open this up. So the reason they call this the Magbin is because it is magnetic, and I guess that's where they get the mag from. <laughs> um, so you are supposed to be able to just, yeah, there's a little tiny sticker here on part of the magnet, so let's take that off first of all. Hmm. It, it feels a lot lighter than I thought it would. and. Uh, it feels a little bit more plasticky than I expected. I kind of expect to have more of a metal feel. Um, I think it's just a hard plastic though. Um, but yeah, I mean the magnet isn't all that strong. But uh, there's a couple benefits to this thing. Um, one is that you're supposed to be able to just wear it if you want to. So instead of having to... Uh, you can wear it like a bracelet basically. So let's try that out. And as you can see, it's kind of unraveling a lot. So it's, I don't know, it might wear down after I've had it for a while and kind of kept it looped up a bit more. But this doesn't make too much sense because that magnet's not really that strong. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'll give it a try a bit more. Let's see if I can get the magnet part of it working a bit better. Uh, I'm afraid it is going to fall off though when I start if I start wearing it like a bracelet or something. Um, another really cool part about this thing is that it has a iPhone or 
a, uh, like an Android charger. So you can plug either one of them into this port here. And let's give that a try real quick. Um, I got both right here with me. So yeah, the uh, adapter will work for either an iPhone or an Android. Um, it's got the lightning cable. I don't, I don't think this is Apple certified or anything like that. So I guess you have to use it at your own risk. Um, but yeah, let's give it a try. All right, so here we are with the iPhone. And yeah, it fits. Um, oh no, what else did I expect? <laughs> I don't know, it still doesn't feel like it's going in all the way though. But yeah, I guess that works. Um, I don't know, I'll have to try charging it later and see how it works. But yeah, that is the MagBin. So the MagBin, um, I mean, even though the MagBin's not that great, it still it has the adapter for iPhones or for Android. So um, that is a pretty cool feature. So I still think it's going to be useful. Um, it's not going to be useful as a, like a fashion accessory or anything, but did you really want to wear a USB cable around your neck the whole time? I don't think a lot of people want that. Next up is something that I've been waiting for for a long time. I think they originally launched like two years ago. And I watched their Kickstarter, I followed them, and kind of, uh, I didn't commit to them. Um, I, I, I don't know, you see a lot of, things that come out and you don't know if they're going to be good. They, I mean, they did uh, really successful on Kickstarter and then they ended up pre-selling these things on Amazon and B&H Photo and stuff like that. And so this is one that I ended up purchasing from somewhere else, I think Amazon, and just pre-ordering it and getting it ready. Even though I wasn't part of the original Kickstarter, I still got a pretty good discount on it. And this is the Narbox. So I actually bought this later. I pre-ordered it and um, about a year ago I pre-ordered it. So they're still developing it and um, yeah, all the Kickstarter backers had to wait two years. I only had to wait a year. So I guess I won. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, it just came out and uh, mine just came in the mail this week. Um, so let's unbox this baby and see what we got. So on the packaging, um, you can see it says uh, upload 128 gigabytes of full resolution footage from any camera to the Narbox, connect iPhone to Narbox hotspot, and open the Narbox app. Edit and share in full resolution. Narbox delivers your footage to the world up to 4K video and raw photos. Uh, compatible with drones, action cameras, digital cameras, and smartphones. Alright, so that's the box. Let's open it up and see what we got. Awesome. So this is the Narbox. Um, nice packaging with setup instructions right in the box. And let's look at this uh, outside for now. But also comes with a USB cable, USB 3.0. Cool. Narbox info. Uh, this is a uh, quick reference guide, so that's what these are. And safety instructions in English and in, in French. Cool. All right, so let's put that aside. So this is the Narbox here. Um, you can see it's really small. It's about uh, the size of a cell phone. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, this is tough. It's really rugged. Uh, you can feel like the high impact casing. That's <laughs> pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Cool. So right here on the side of it, you see we got our ports for opening it up and um, you can put SD, micro SD, USB 3.0, USB 2.0 and a the regular micro USB adapter here.
So you got SD, micro SD, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, and micro USB adapter. So, so far this thing has gotten great reviews um, from everybody that's gotten theirs already. I will test it out and um, I might probably post a video of it later or you might see it in one of my video blogs because um, I think this is going to be one of those things I take with me everywhere from now on. So yeah, the Narbox. So, this thing is shockproof, dustproof, and water resistant. Um, it's not waterproof and you can tell that it's not waterproof when you start looking at these doors. Um, they're not watertight. I mean, they're, they're tight and they're sealed good. They got a, there's actually a water seal around them. A waterproof thing is a lot tighter than this and you, you can tell it's just built to be waterproof. This one is definitely built to be water resistant, so I wouldn't go dumping this in, in the ocean or anything like that, but it'll be fine for uh, rainy days as long as you got it closed up so that the water's not getting in, getting into your ports. Let's take a look at a couple other things here about the Narbox. Um, it has file transfer capabilities, of course I mentioned that earlier. You can actually edit the photos on your phone um, in full resolution uh, with, with iOS or with Android, so it works with the, whether, whatever phone you got. Um, it wirelessly transfers everything so you don't have to plug in your phone to do it. And there's a rechargeable battery inside of it, so that lasts about 46 hours if you're using it. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed my little Kickstarter review. If you're interested in purchasing either the Magband or the Narbox, I'll leave links down below so you guys can check them out. So if you like it, please leave a comment let me know uh, so I'll continue making them. Um, if you want to see more, let me know what you'd like to see. Because i got a lot of crowdfunding gear lying around the house, so let me know if there's anything that you'd like to see. Um, until then, I'll see you guys next time.